Hey everybody, my name's Erin Stagg. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be experimenting with different ways of painting. I really want to paint a uh, complex blue background, which I'm uh, later going to paint over foolishly. It's not a full painting. I didn't finish the whole thing because I'm still currently working on it. I still want to put out a video today, so I'm just going to show you what I did. I experimented with one, blowing soap bubbles at the canvas. I've got my little thing of soap bubbles that they blew at our wedding. You know. So I blew those to the canvas and it had a really neat effect. And then I tried putting paint, water, and soap in a cup with a straw and blowing into it to create bubbles. And then I tried doing that to see what it would do to the canvas. I really wanted to get like a neat bubble effect and I saw people doing it with pottery but it didn't really work out here. But you can check it out and see what I did. And then lastly, I experimented with alcohol. I experimented with two different types, but the one that was the most successful was the higher 99% isopropyl alcohol. And I played around to see what that did. a shot. I've been experimenting with bubbles on this painting, as you guys have seen, and right now we're going to experiment, experiment with more bubbles. So I'm going to add some soap to this cup. I don't know how much I need. Maybe like that. And then add some paint. I'm going to use some yellow paint. Don't know how much yellow I've used. Jeez, hey? I bought this like earlier this year. And then add some water. So bubbles. You can see they're gonna make it a really cool pattern. They're already Woo! I got soap bubbles all over my Alright, so the bubbles didn't really work. Uh, I was basically just leaving a big mess on there, so I took them off. I'm going to try another technique. Because I'm having so much fun, I need to like put some animals on here, but I just keep having so much fun doing this. Alright, so I'm gonna try this next technique. I've put some wet paint on there and this one uses alcohol so this is isopropyl alcohol and we're gonna give this a crack Next week, I'm going to show you how I finished the painting off. I kind of took a ridiculous turn. I've been playing like a whole bunch of Pokemon Go. Um, who hasn't really when you're my age? And I love it so much. It brings up so so much nostalgia. So I'm painting a Pokemon. <laughs> I know. Well, if you're a nerd like me, and I hope that you are, then you would appreciate this anyway. So I'm hoping to rock a really sweet Pokemon next week. And if you're a super nerd and you want to come check that out, then awesome. If you 
just like dragons, then come check that out. Now you're like, oh, which Pokemon is it? Which Pokemon is it? Well, just wait. If you want to help me keep doing cool stuff like this, then consider supporting me on Patreon. For all of this month, I am sending postcards to all of my patrons. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.